Hi everyone, I am Miran Gurukal. In this video, I would like to explain a few things about secret science of Siddhas. Most of the time I am explaining about Varma point techniques, vital point techniques, the importance of it related to cosmic and astral body. You know, most of the sciences, so-called sciences or pseudo-sciences, somebody say like that, is constructed on the Siddhar's ideas of 96 principles. <coughs> In this 96 principles, you can see some of the ideas which is nowadays are following in some of the so-called modern practices of Reiki, Pranic healing, acupuncture, acupressure, so on. These matters I had explained in some of previous videos in my another channel. <coughs> you know, here in this video, I would like to tell about the importance of Varma. Actually, the vital points or varmas are existing in our cosmic body, which is told by Siddhas. And how many bodies they found out are four main bodies according to Varma principle. <coughs> that is known as atomic body or Anu Udamba, Karana body or causal body. Sukshma Udamba or astral body and Stula Udamba is physical body. These four types of bodies had been explained by Siddhis in their secret text or even they taught their disciples by the way of mouth. I mean they taught the verses or some sort of padalgal. padalgal in Tamil is known as verses. So those people who like to understand or like to know deeply about vital points, first of all they have to know about these four types of bodies. The four types of bodies are Anu Udamba, Karana Udamba, Sukshma Udamba, Stula Udamba, Atomic Body, Causal Body, Astral Body and Physical Body. You know, in Siddhis concepts, the language of Tamil is one of the most predominant language in which so many principles or Siddhis had been brought forth. But also, these principles you can see in Sanskrit language also by some of the Siddhis who like to depict their ideas in Sanskrit language. <coughs> so, in Vedas and some secret texts written in Sanskrit language, you can see Pancha Mahakoshas, that is a Sanskrit combination where pancha means five maha means magnificent kosha means body or cell five magnificent bodies which are they they are annamaya kosha pranamaya kosha manomaya kosha Vijnana Maya Kosha and Ananda Maya Kosha. The Anna Maya Kosha is the body which you are seeing now. I mean you watching me that is Anna Maya Kosha. <coughs> Anna Maya Kosha is the physical body. Prana Maya Kosha is the body created by Prana. Most of you who is following the channels in YouTube, the different varieties of channels explaining this word Prana, you can see. 
prana is the energy of the body and that prana is melted in our breath and which is flowing in our body through so many nadis and that is stored in some of the chakras so that body involving the power of chakras and created by prana is known as pranamaya kosha next is manomaya kosha manomaya kosha is subtler body and that body is created by energy subtler energy than prana and that body is inside the pranamaya kosha <coughs> when i am explain these things uh, <coughs> you can easily understand it you can you can imagine in your mind the layers of cosmic bodies most of the time people using the word mind thousands of years before see there's used the synonym of the english word mind as manaha mano maya kosha mana mind uh, that two words have some sort of similarities even it's a phonetic phonetic vibration so mano maya kosha explain about mind you know sometimes i am explaining this type of concept somebody tell that these are pseudo sciences you have to think first of all what that is you know a science that had been created and developed nowadays as known as a psychology or psychotherapy may i am telling about psychology psychology is a study of mind its concepts different type of personality different type of behaviors like that if you are thinking what i am saying is a pseudo science first of all you you first of all think about the science which explains the mind if you discard the idea of mind first of all you should discard the science which is made under this fundamental idea of siddhar concept that is manaha so if you are say that if you are saying that somebody some aesthetic people some people who don't believe this type of concepts if say that these are fake science or pseudo science then you you should think that all the psychologies all the concepts of philosophies are invalid so i am explaining about pancha maha koshas <coughs> inside the manomaya kosha you can see vijnana maya kosha vijnanam is also known as intellect intellect is uh, some way related to our high level of consciousness or the power of brain like that deep thinking capacity or deep thinking faculty of the mind is known as uh, intellect or vijnana there is a layer cosmic layer inside our body is known as vijnana maya kosha inside the layer of mano maya kosha and uh, the fifth layer is known as ananda maya kosha ananda maya kosha anandam is known as pleasure every activities of human beings are mainly intended to achieve or enjoy the pleasure ananda is known as pleasure it is inside our body that is why the siddhas always preaching that don't seek pleasure outside the body it is inside the body however you are getting pleasure from the things that is made by human beings or things uh, you are getting from the coincidence of uh, 
different type of actions of two or many people are getting from inside your body so that kosa is known as anandamaya kosa so the subtler the subtlest layer of uh, the fifth layer is known as anandamaya kosa so once again i explain one by one first anandamaya kosa second pranamaya kosa third manomaya kosa fourth vijnanamaya kosa and fifth anandamaya kosa anandamaya pranamaya manomaya vijnanamaya anandamaya kosa <coughs> inside that five layers it is your identity i mean your soul that is not told by me it is told by the sitters and that energy field inside this five layers is divine that is cosmic that is astral so you know in vedic texts or a siddhas text or hindu text you can see this type of kosa names even in one of the famous book one of the famous uh, verse thousand verse of uh, god kali or thousand verse of god lalita i mean god that word will make confusion in your mind that siddhas are told them as deities or deities deities are entirely different from god the concept of deities are entirely different that may lead to the concept of alien inhabitants and another world known as a swarga like that about the different worlds i will explain in another video so uh, the deity or the extreme concepts of uh, deities are relating to this concepts of five kosas the name of deity devi lalita or kali is known as pancha kosham varasthita i mean who is inside this five layers of cosmic body so first of all when you trying to learn the varma or when you trying to learn this siddhar concept or hindu concepts i don't like to use the word hindu it is a, some sort of a technical science invented or followed by the siddhas so <coughs> these are the concepts first concept concepts layers of body cosmic type of bodies four and the layers of body five and inside that our soul exist in a peaceful condition and uh, you know all these principles are used in the so called science had been found in some other places known as reiki prana healing acupuncture acupressure all these things and they are also using our five elements concepts and like that i will explain all these things in another video thank you for watching this video thank you for following me if you like to get this type of uh, knowledge especially this this knowledge please follow me thank you